Vince Mantel, Steve O, and the fabulous one, Stan and Steve. In this particular match, it will involve the Sheep Herders joining forces with Jimmy Cornette's dynasty, Adrian Street and Jesse Barr. In this eight-man tag match, there are many stipulations. It involves the fabulous ones who have agreed that if either one of them is defeated, that they will get their hair cut, if you're hearing me. Dutch Mantel has said if he beats, if any of them can beat him in the middle of the ring, he'll pitch out $5,000 to the fans. And by agreement with the entire team, Steve O has said if he gets beat, the whole team leaves town. Now, on the other side of the fence, we'll get to that later, similar stipulations. The Sheep Herders have agreed that if either one of them get beat, the entire team leaves. Adrian Street has got his hair up if he gets beat. And then it's going to be Jesse Barr who will take $5,000 of Jimmy Cornette's mother's money and pass it out to the crowd out there. This is the wildest dog thing, thing I've man. seen, Does this cigar smoke bother you? Oh, go right ahead. A lot of things bother me. I think we got a little tape to show it right now. Okay. We look at it. Let's watch this you little tape. You want to see what happened when these guys met once before? You'll understand the stipulations. Look at this eight-man tag match. And he may be loose, but nope. Boyd got him from behind. He kicked Luke Williams down. Knocked Jonathan Boyd over. Jesse Barr broke it up, and look at him brawl. Good night. Dutch Mantel across the ring, and the lifter just slam Linda and Jimmy Cornette's heads together. Towel after Cornette. While in the ring, Kern on Adrian Street. Lane going after Barr. We're going to stop this match. The referee Jerry Calhoun trying to break some things up. with powder. Steve Kern. What a brawl. Miss Linda with a belt flailing away on Steve Kern. Now Adrian takes it and goes after Stan Lane. of the sheep herder the high heels of Miss Linda working on Stan Lane here comes Rick Martin, Robert Gibson Carl Fergie, Bobby Fulton well, that's, that's a fine how do you do you take four great athletes like this we walked in that Coliseum and I bet you they wasn't one person that says we couldn't beat them but I don't know what it was whether we went into a slump or we were jinxed or whatever it was, but that match did not turn out the way we thought it would. Now, we got a lot of stipulations in this match, and I don't really know how I got in it, but I'm in it elbow deep, baby. And when you're in it elbow deep, you got to pull yourself out. Now, if i got to take these guys back in the dressing room and give them a pep talk and fire them up, then I'll do it because I don't intend to throw $5,000 out to the people. And I'm sure the fans here, if one of them loses, got to shave their head. I'm sure that won't set too good with them. And if Steve-O, if you do lose and we do have to leave this town, you think the fight in the ring was something. Wait till we get back to the dressing room, brother. Now, I think we need some stipulations, and I, I think some changes need to be made around here. Now, these sheep herders, they've walked, they've talked, they've knocked this car, and they've everything they can do to make themselves disliked around. And I have to say one thing. They have done one good job of it. Yeah, boy. But I'm going to say one thing. This match is not going to turn out like it did before. We're going to go in there hell-bent for leather, and we're going to knock them all the way back to New Zealand so their ancestors can fill it. Now, we're going to hit them, and we're going to knock them, and we're going to take the count on them right in the middle of the ring. Now, if the sheep herders lose, lose they got to leave town. If Adrian Street loses, he got to shave his head, and I think Miss Linda's head, too. And I think if that Jesse Barr, if he loses, 
We're going to see how much money that Cornette family really has got. So, people, we're coming, like I said, hell-bent for leather. We're coming there to win. I'm not going to lose no money. Steve O is not going to lose, so we have to leave town. And I'm sure these two guys are not going to get their head shaved. Boys, you get your best hold because when we come, we're coming looking for somebody. And we're looking for somebody. We're going to find somebody. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, one little correction, and that is that if either one of the sheep herders lose, the entire team leaves this town. Good. i got to say, too, that they're going to have a, a lot of direction and heat going for you in there, Steve, because uh, if you lose, the whole team goes. Well, that's true, you know, and I want to tell Dutch right now, it's a, you have got to worry about nothing, because if it's going to be a big enough fight in the ring, just shape, just going against the sheep herders in there. Now, that's who I'm majorly going to have to concentrate on, is the sheep herders, because my score is to settle with them. But I tell you, if I let these guys down and they have to shave their head, or if they have to throw out $5,000, I might as well go back out of the country, too, because I don't want to face these guys. It's going to be one heck of a fight, and there's going to be all kinds of pandemonium going on right down in that ring in big Memphis town. I want to tell you, you know, if either one of you guys lose your hair, there's going to be a lot of friends out there awful unhappy. You know, Lance, uh, Steve and I have had quite a bit of time to reflect and think about it, and uh, we realize we've been left lying face down in the ring for the past two weeks, and uh, we just decided it's time to get kind of serious about this kind of stuff and uh, maybe stop dancing so much and just get a little more serious, you know? But then again, maybe it's not, Lance, because I talked to Billy Ray Williams at the U-Haul rent trailer place this morning, and he said Adrian Street, Jesse Barr, and the Sheepers were down there saying, we need some trailers for Monday night, brother, because we're getting the hell out of Dodge. So let me tell you one thing. Adrian Street, pack up your cover girl makeup, your lace panties, and Jesse Barr, you can get a little box and put those little phony tin medals in there. And the sheep herders, pack that 57 Mercury up with the furry dice and get the hell out of Memphis Monday night, sweetheart. If I, can, if, I can just be, if I can just be serious again, Lance, just for a second. You know, we've had a lot of trouble with these guys. Let me just tell Adrian and Jesse and the sheep herders this. Uh, let me end on this note, uh, a little serious note. And it goes something like this. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. There we go. Dutch Van Tell, Steve-O, the fabulous ones. And they're heading out. They're getting ready for one whale of a battle Monday night at the Coliseum. Time out. We'll be back with more action in a moment.